This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's keep it rolling. This one comes to us from the Mid Atlantic Championship podcast. They write in, please talk about the team and eventual split with Jerry Stubbs, both sides of which were incredible. Thoughts of how that was laid out all the way up until the end when he lost the loser leaves matches. Any nerves throwing the fire? Sonny King as a manager, joining the stable, etc. Well, uh, when I first went to Pensacola to start uh, my territory run, not the three weeks that I had been there a year previous or whatever it was, but to go down and, and start working on drove down to Birmingham from Rome where I was, I was between territories and I started in uh, Birmingham. I didn't know Jerry at all. And, uh, he was riding in a van with a bunch of the other boys. And he said, Hey, you know, I'll, if you like, I'll ride with you and ride back to Pensacola. We, you know, get acquainted. And I said, great. And, and he really turned out to be a, a super guy. He put me up at his house for, for a couple, three days. And, you know, uh, took me to the gym, showed me where the gym was, showed me where the arena was and all that stuff. And uh, introduced me to Scott Armstrong, who I'd never met. I'd met Brad and his dad and worked with Bob during that three weeks previous um, that I was there. So kind of introduced me around and, Acquainted, got me acquainted with the boys and the layout and the, the whole scenario. And then he put me on, uh, when I found out I was going to be wrestling under a hood, he put me on the costuming lady that, that not only made gear, but made masks. So he really hooked me up and, and he got me started with everything. He got me acquainted. And, uh, the whole deal was he was Mr. Olympia under a hood. I was super Olympia coming in as, a uh, as a baby face, which is a horrifying thought under a mask is really a horrifying thought because I didn't have any baby face skills at all. None. I could do none of that stuff. Um, and I would hear, you know, some people in the audience thought I was Buzz Sawyer. Some thought I was Dick Slater. There was several of these, uh, names that they were throwing out that, that they thought I was, which was, was, was kind of cool, um, but uh, we did a little angle and uh, worked together, and then we became partners, and uh, that's where I started to learn about tag teams and, and tag team wrestling And because he was really, not only did he look like a million dollars, you know, living in Pensacola, he had access to his swimming pool and the beach, and the guy was tanned. He just... And he was a tremendous worker. There was no flaws in Jerry's work, look, any of that stuff. Uh, and he could do a pretty good promo. You know, he had a pretty heavy southern drawl, but we were in the south, so it worked. And, uh, you know, we, we became a pretty good team and jailed together, and, and then we got better as a team. And uh, it uh, it just started clicking, and we started working with Scotty and uh, Scotty Armstrong and uh, – the Tonga kid at that time, who was about 180 pounds, and Johnny Rich. Um, it, they were called the Rat Patrol for obvious reasons. The little girls loved them. And uh, we worked with those kids and really had a good time. And Stevie Armstrong kind of got in there and got in that rotation too and enjoyed working with him. So we just had a, a really good, calm work environment where you could go out and and take these guys and, and learn from them and, and teach them as well. And, and we're all kind of learning the business together and had the opportunity to start doing promos down there for, for local markets and no pressure. And it was just a learning curve that, that you had and a great work environment and just show up and do your job. And there were no issues. So, you know, it turned out that uh, we eventually did a split with Jerry and I, and then when I found out I was going to Charlotte Territory, we did some some loser leave matches and stuff here and there. I, I, I actually ended up doing the last ones with uh, Colonel Parker, Ro Robert, um, and um, you know, it was just a great experience. I enjoyed being Jerry's opponent and his partner. 
And if uh, had he chose to and went out and into the world, he really didn't want to leave and go any further than Bill Watts territory because he could just, you know, pretty much drive there from Pensacola and stay a few days. And and uh, if he wanted to, he could take a day and drive back home. And, you know, it was close enough that it wasn't impossible. And uh, if, had he chose to go out in the world, he would have been a huge star, I think. Is Rat Patrol not the best wrestling tag team name ever? Think about it. It was self-explanatory. It's tremendous. Absolutely. And the little girls love those guys. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.